This episode of DNews was proudly made possible by the all-new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Everyone thinks they're a good driver, but it turns out morning people might just have the upper hand. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and like most of us out there, you probably think you're an excellent driver. Maybe you've bragged about it to your friends. I know I have. But what actually makes someone a good driver? Well, it turns out things you'd never even expect can have a drastic impact on your driving ability. A new study published in Accident Analysis and Prevention shows that being a morning person actually makes you a better driver. For this study, a team of researchers analyzed the circadian biological rhythms of 29 students from the University of Granada with extremely defined chronotypes. A chronotype is basically an internal timer that indicates whether someone is a morning person or a night person. Now, because the topic of sleep medicine has become more and more well-researched over the past few decades, science has effectively determined that every person has a specific chronotype built into their DNA. So no matter what your upbringing was, your chronotype is pretty much unchangeable. And it all stems from your hypothalamus. This is the part of your brain that links your nervous system up with your endocrine system, and it basically regulates all of your necessary bodily functions. Hunger, thirst, body temperature, temperature and sleep. Contained inside the hypothalamus is something called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN. And this particular part is essentially your internal clock. It interacts with your optic nerve so that when your eye detects light, that light travels down the nerve, stimulating the SCN. So all of your neural and hormonal activity is regulated based on your personal circadian rhythm. And like I said, all of the students in this study were chosen because they had very defined chronotypes. So to see if that affected their driving abilities, researchers had them fill out a questionnaire and then undergo a series of simulated driving tests at various points throughout the day. Turns out the students who consider themselves morning people were far better drivers at 8 a.m. than night owls. And you might think that effect would be reversed in the evening, but it actually wasn't. Even at 8 p.m., morning people were still just as alert and aware while driving as they were in the morning. Interestingly, there do appear to be certain times of the day where almost everyone is a bad driver, and that is early afternoon, around 2 to 3 p.m., and very early morning, around 3 to 5 a.m. Now the obvious solution here would be to just not drive during those times, or at the very least try to be especially vigilant while doing so. But a lot of professions, like truck drivers and airline pilots, don't really have a choice. They have to stay up no matter how much sleep they get, which as we know can be extremely deadly. Studies have shown that driving when you haven't slept for 18 hours is equally as dangerous as driving drunk. So the authors of this study recommend that professional drivers try to perform their routes according to their personal chronotypes. As for the rest of us, driving on little to no sleep especially if you are a night owl, is something we should all try to avoid. And while we're on the topic of driving, we want to say a quick thank you to Subaru for making this episode possible, and particularly the all-new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It goes where other sedans can't by offering a safer and more dynamic ride than ever before. In the meantime, let us know in the comments below whether you're a morning person or a night owl and how you think that affects your driving. That's all for me, but as always, thank you guys for watching.